Hello listener, in our pre previous class we have discussed about introduction of logarithms. Okay, and we discuss about some, we revise about exponential forms, how to convert into logarithm and what is the interrelationship between your logarithms and exponential form. Today we are going to discuss properties of logarithms. There are three properties of logarithms you have to remember. Okay, first property is the product rule. Let a comma x and y be positive real numbers with a is not equal to 1. Means it should satisfy this condition. Then log x y base a is equal to log x base a plus log y base b. Let let log x base a. So, we have to prove it that log x base a is equal to m. We are considering as this as m. So, you will convert it into exponential form is a to the power of m is equal to x and what is your log y base b is equal to n means a to the power of n is equal to y means x and y you are getting ok. Then what is your product? Product means x y ok. What is your x y? If you are multiplying x y you will get a to the power of m into a to the power of n. So, what is the exponential formula for a to the power of m into a to the power of n? What you will get? x y is equal to a to the power of m plus n m plus n. So, how you will write in logarithm log log x y to the power of a is equal to m plus n ok m plus n. So, how you will write m plus m what is your m? m is log x base a. What is your n? log y base b. So, what is your x y is a m plus n ok. m plus 1 means how you will write log x y base a equal to m plus n. So, log x y base a is equal to what is your m? log x base a plus what is your n? log y base b. Hence, we prove it. Okay. Hence, we prove it. Our next property of logarithm is the question rule. Let a k comma x and y be positive real numbers with a is not equal to 1. Then log x by y base a equal to log x base a minus log y base b. We will prove it. Okay. Let, let log x base a equal to m. So, what is the exponential form a to the power of m is equal to x and what is here log y base b is equal to n. So, what you will get a to the power of n equal to y. Then we will divide x by y ok x by y you are dividing x by y you are dividing means a to the power of m is divided by a to the power of n. So, what is the formula exponential formula of a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is x by y is equal to a to the power of m minus n ok. What is log x by y? So, you have to convert it into logarithm. So, how you will convert log x by y base a is equal to m minus n m minus n ok m minus n. So, what is your m? m is log x base a. What is your n? Log y base b. So, what value you will get it? Log x by y base a is equal to what is your m? Log x base a minus log y base b. Hence, we proved. Our next property is the power rule. This is your third property. First property we discuss about product rule, second one question rule, this one is your third. 
पावर रो लेट ए एंड एक्स बी पॉजिटिव रियल नंबर्स विथ ए इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो एंड एन बी एनी रियल नंबर देन लॉग एक्स टू द पावर ऑफ एन बेस ए इज इक्वल टू एन लॉग एक्स बेस ए सो फर्स्ट वी विल कन्वर्ट इट इन टू एक्सपोनशियल फॉर्म्स सो वॉट यू विल गेट लेट लॉग एक्स टू द पावर ऑफ एन इज इक्वल टू वी आर कंसिडरिंग एज पी ओके इज इक्वल टू सो वॉट यू विल गेट ए टू द पावर ऑफ पी इज इक्वल टू एक्स टू द पावर ऑफ एन ओके देन टेक लॉग लॉग ए टू द पावर लॉग एक्स बेस ए सो वॉट यू आर कंसिडरिंग एज क्यू सो वॉट यू विल गेट एज ए क्यू इज इक्वल टू एक्स सो वॉट इज यूर ए ए टू द पावर ऑफ पी इज एक्स टू द पावर ऑफ एन ओके सो वॉट इज यूर एक्स एक्स इज ए टू द पावर ऑफ क्यू एंड यू आर टेलिंग एक्स टू द पावर ऑफ एन इज एन एन सो वॉट वैल्यू यू विल गेट ए टू द पावर ऑफ पी इज ए टू द पावर ऑफ क्यू एन यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट बेसिस आर सेम सो वॉट इज यूर पी वैल्यू पी वैल्यू इज क्यू एन यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट एज पी इज इक्वल टू एन क्यू वॉट इज यूर पी लॉग लॉग एक्स टू द पावर ऑफ एन बेस ए इज इक्वल टू एन वॉट इज यूर क्यू क्यू इज लॉग एक्स बेस ए हैंस वी प्रूव इट सम इम्पॉर्टेंट रिजल्ट वी हैव टू रिमेंबर वी नो दैट बी टू द पावर ऑफ वन इज इक्वल टू बी सो यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट इट हाउ यू विल कन्वर्ट इट लॉग बी बेस जीरो इज इक्वल टू वन इफ यू आर बी टू द पावर ऑफ बी इज हैविंग द पावर जीरो यू विल गेट द वैल्यू हाउ यू विल कन्वर्ट इन इन टू लॉग वन बेस बी इज इक्वल टू जीरो ओके लेट्स डू सम प्रॉब्लम एक्सपैंड एक्सपैंड वन फाइव सेवन फाइव ओके by using your property so how you will expand log 25 into 9 into 7 just factorize 1575 you will get 25 into 9 into 7 you can also write as log 5 square into 3 square into 7 use your first property so what is your first property what is your first property is log a to the power of xy is equal to log ax plus log ay so you can write in in log 5 square plus log 3 square plus log 7 okay you are using first property okay then write it in into your third property means to come here 2 log 5 plus 2 log 3 plus log 7 expand log 16 by 25 16 by it is your second property that is your quotient property means what you will get so what is your formula log x by y base a equal to log x base a minus log y base a okay you have to convert it into log 16 minus log 25 so what is the factor of 16 you will get 2 to the power of 4 minus log 5 square then use your third property 4 log 2 minus 2 log 5 so our next problem is log 81 plus 4 log 2 minus log 36 express log and this type of problem is very important in your examination for 10th class students okay let's solve it log 81 plus 4 log 2 minus log 36 here we are having two properties okay first property is your product rule and third one is your second property is your quotient rule just convert your log 81 log 81 into 2 to the power of 4 okay 2 to the power of 4 first 
log 2 to the power of 4 minus log 36 ok. Just convert it into your first and second property. So, how you will convert log 81 plus 81 into 16, 16 minus means you have to write divided by 36 ok. So, what you will get log 9 square 4 4 is a 16, 9 4 is a 36 means 36, 36, 1 9, 1 4 will be cut you will get as log 9 into 4 means what value of n you will get as log 36. Let us do one more problem determine the value of log 5 base 25 convert it into two exponential form. So, what you are having log 5 base 25 is equal to p what is your exponential form 25 to the power of p is equal to 5. So, what you will get 5 5 is a 25 whole to the power of p is equal to 5 to the power of 1 bases are same. So, what you will get 2 p is equal to 1 what is your p? p is 1 by 2 you can determine the value by solving in this method. If you had any doubt drop your doubts in the comment box subscribe like it and share it.